Hi everyone, welcome to A Bit of Science. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of how the periodic table was developed. The periodic table is a way of organising the elements based on their atomic structure and chemical properties. It's one of the most important tools for chemists and scientists in general because it helps us understand how elements interact with each other and form compounds. 1789. A revolutionary time, not just for nations but for science. The first attempt to classify the elements was made by Antoine Lavoisier, a French chemist, who divided them into four categories, metals, non-metals, gases and earths. In 1817, a German chemist, Johann Doberreiner, noticed that some elements had similar properties and could be grouped into triads such as lithium, sodium and potassium. He also observed that the middle element in each triad had an atomic weight that was the average of the other two. This was an early hint of a periodic pattern among the elements. In 1864, John Newlands, a British chemist, proposed the law of octaves which stated that every eighth element had similar properties when arranged by increasing atomic weight. He compared this to the musical scale, where every eighth note is the same. However, his idea was not widely accepted because it did not work for all elements, and he did not leave any gaps for unknown elements. In 1869, Dmitry Mendeleev, a Russian chemist published his famous periodic table, which is considered the most significant contribution to the development of the periodic table. He arranged the elements by increasing atomic weight and by their chemical properties. He also left gaps for elements that were not yet discovered and predicted their properties based on their position in the table. He also corrected some errors in the atomic weights of some elements based on their position in the table. His periodic table was able to accommodate new discoveries and explain many phenomena in chemistry. In 1913, Henry Moseley, an English physicist, discovered that each element has a unique number of protons in its nucleus, which he called the atomic number. He realised that this was a better way of ordering the elements than atomic weight because it explained why some elements with different weights had similar properties and vice versa. He also confirmed the existence of some missing elements that Mendeleev had predicted. Also, in 1913, Niels Bohr, a Danish physicist, proposed his model of the atom, which explained how electrons are arranged in shells around the nucleus. He also introduced the concept of valence electrons, which are the outermost electrons that determine the chemical behaviour of an element. He showed that elements in the same column of the periodic table have the same number of valence electrons and therefore similar chemical properties. In 1945, American chemist Glenn Seaborg proposed a new series of elements called the actinides, which are radioactive and have very high atomic numbers. He placed them below the lanthanides, another series of elements that were previously separated from the main body of the periodic table. He also rearranged some elements based on their nuclear structure and chemical properties. As you can see, the periodic table is a result of centuries of scientific discoveries and innovations. It is not just a static chart, but a dynamic and evolving representation of our knowledge of matter and its interactions. It helps us understand how elements are related to each other and how they form different compounds with different properties. It also helps us predict new elements and explore new areas of chemistry. The periodic table is truly a masterpiece of science and a testament to human curiosity and creativity.